Hey cousins, welcome back to Storytime with Colorful Story. We are going to be discussing Denmark Vesey, who was considered a abolitionist, an insurrectionist, a hero, and a terrorist. Denmark Vesey is a complicated story and I'm hoping that we can unpack it. The introduction is entitled The Reality of Denmark Vesey in the Denmark Vesey book written by David Robertson. And we're going to be reading through those chapters and breaking it down. The introduction opens with Denmark being kept under close guard. Uh, he wasn't allowed to interact with free or enslaved black people because they were either co-conspirators or testifying against him. Um, was, was it because he was dangerous? Was it because he was being tortured into confessing? Not quite. The author David Robertson gives us a little insight to who Denmark was and why colonizers, colonizers were so shook. Now much is clarified on the uh, birth of Denmark Vesey because during those times enslaved Africans were stripped of their identities by enslavers uh, who were forced into assimilation. It is alleged that Denmark was born in Africa or the Virgin Islands and worked on an enslaved, worked as an enslaved man uh, on French sugar plantations. He spoke several languages such as English, Spanish, French, Creole, and other European languages. He was also well read, which was not typical of enslaved Africans due to anti-literacy laws that banned the enslaved from reading or writing. Denmark's ability to read allowed him to dive deep into scripture as well as slave abolition pamphlets he collected. That's going to come in handy later on. In 1781, Denmark arrived on the shores of Charleston with 390 enslaved Africans, catching the eye of Joseph Vesey, who would become his master for 19 years until one day he wins this lottery ticket that would help him pay for his freedom from Joseph. Denmark then goes on to live as a free black carpenter for 22 years until he was 60 years old when he was arrested. Old man Vesey, which is a nickname for him, was minding his business as a free black man and then thrown into slavery. Now, I'm sure after being free uh, for 22 years and then having been enslaved already, that wouldn't sit well with you, right? Of course not. Denmark spent his time plotting not only his freedom, but the freedoms of his fellow enslaved people. Nine years before Nat Turner and 37 years before John Brown, Denmark orchestrated the most strategic slave rebellion of 1822. His plan? Seize the fifth largest harbor in Charleston, assassinate the governor and other officials in South Carolina, take out all the people without color, including men, women, and children, set off explosions throughout Charleston. Then those people of color who, people of, uh, people who were white, who did survive, were to sell the enslaved back to Africa or to Haiti. However, he wasn't successful. 77 of his followers were either lynched or imprisoned. John C. Calhoun sent troops to the South to protect slaveholders. James Monroe withheld diplomatic recognition to Haiti because they were helping Denmark Vesey escape. Thomas Jefferson believed the rebellion justified slavery even more, so he backed its initiative. Denmark never confessed to this uprising. He remained silent when he was cross-examined, and many believed he had gone insane. However, his fight for liberation made him a hero among many free and enslaved black people. Charleston AME Church fought to have his portrait on display as a liberator of black people. However, that wasn't sitting well with people without color. In the 70s, they compared him to Hitler, Attila the Hun, and Herod who, mowed, who murdered babies. By the end of this book, we will form our own opinion about who Denmark was and who he was not. I hope you guys will check out this book with me as we break it down. I'm interested in knowing more about the history of those we may have considered heroes, but the rest of the country would not. Is it the fact that he fought for liberation of black people and many wanted them to be enslaved? 
Let's find out. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all of my platforms, and I'll see you here for chapter one. Talk to y'all soon.